Hi, welcome to day seven. Can you believe it's been a week already? I hope you've been following along and that you've been just responding to what's been happening in your own heart as the Lord's leading us through this process. Um, today is all about freedom. Freedom to be ourselves, freedom to live in a relationship with the Lord, freedom to manage ourselves. So here's the deal. Many times we at More Evolution get a lot of letters and different people that are always asking us, what's the line? You know, how do I, how do I know I've gone too far? How do I know that this is what God's saying? You know, tell me what exactly I need to do. And, and I totally understand that process and that wondering, but at the end of the day, listen, we can't give you that line. We can't say this is right. And this is wrong when it comes to um, a heart of and a lifestyle of purity, because really that's just laws. And we're not part of the old Testament. We're part of the new Testament. And part of that New Testament is actually being in relationship with the Holy Spirit that leads us to understanding what God is thinking from the inside out, not from the outside in. Remember, Old Testament was all about rules and regulations and, and following those. And the New Testament reality is that the Holy Spirit leads us and he guides us and that it's all about relationship. So when we talk about freedom, I want you to consider a few things today. I want you to consider that free people know how to manage themselves, which means that they know how to listen to the Holy Spirit and obey what he's saying. Something called self-control. Yeah, self-control. It's a fruit of the Spirit, which means that when the Holy Spirit's living within us and guiding us, he empowers us to control our own impulses. Hey, I'm a married girl. I have four babies. And before I was married, I was a 26-year-old single virgin woman. Yes, I was the girl that was waiting to be married and have a lifestyle of, um, you know, sex. Yeah. And part of that was that I had to learn to live a pure life outside of living in a sexual relationship being married. So I really dedicated my life to Christ at 17 and said, God, I want to serve you. And I began to practice what that meant, which means I began to go to him when I had needs. I had to pray and ask the Lord to help me. I had to manage myself when I felt weak or felt vulnerable to not allow myself to be in relationships or to get my needs met in an unhealthy way. Part of that was really laying down that part of me that wanted to get that need met, whatever it took, and saying, God, I offer this as an offering to you. God, I don't know when or how this all, the whole thing is going to work out, but I want to honor you. And so, you know, as I've gotten married, I've understood that self-control is not just a single thing. It's a married thing. Self-control is about laying ourselves down and saying, we are not, we don't live to meet every need. We don't live to get all of our needs met. We live to lay our lives down and to love unconditionally and love in the, in freedom. And so, I just want to like dispel that myth that when I get married that I'm going to have as much sex as I want and I'm going to be able to do as anything I please and look at anything I please. It's not true. In fact, it's a lie. It's not true at all. Marriage is another way of laying our lives down and letting the Lord be Lord of our life still in the process and understanding that God created us with freedom. But part of that freedom is telling ourselves no and telling ourselves yes in the right places. And so, I want to encourage you today with this thought. What area are you practicing self-control in? Whether you are single, whether you are 13 and you're watching this, whether you're a 26-year-old woman waiting to get married, or whether you are a married woman and you are saying, I want to live this lifestyle of purity. Well, guess what? You're going to have to learn self-control, when to say yes and when to say no, and to use our yes and no at the right time. That's called freedom, and that's called walking with the Holy Spirit. And when we say yes at the wrong time, guess what? It hurts us. When we say no at the right time, guess what? It protects us. So I want to leave you with that thought. I hope that you do that very thing today. And I hope that you challenge yourself to live that life that he's called you to. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.